What's up guys, Daniel and Duku here, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a host gator review. I'm gonna show you how host gator stands out from the competition, what you can expect from the service, and what you shouldn't expect from the service. Now, if you're interested in getting host gator, there's a link in the description down below, and you can get up to 65% off your first year of hosting. If you're interested in online business, growing a brand from scratch, making money on the side, all of that good stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's dive into the HostGator review. In 2002, HostGator was founded as a simple shared hosting platform that allowed people to get their websites online. Now this was before really popular CMSs like Squarespace, WordPress, etc. Where people were still using things like Dreamweaver to get their first website online. If you've been around for a while, you know what I'm talking about. But today it has over 800,000 customers and hosts over 2 million website and it offers a range of hosting plans shared wordpress dedicated vps etc as well as additional services to help you put your best foot forward and host your websites relatively easily now let's look at the features that hostgator brings to the table the first thing that i like about hostgator is the fact that you can host an unlimited number of domains on most of the hosting plans of course the smallest plan only allows for one domain but i don't recommend that anyways on the higher plans you can host an unlimited number of domains and subdomains that may not seem so important to you but once you start experimenting online testing out different things or making like small micro sites you'll quickly understand how important it is to be able to host as many domains as you want in addition to unlimited domains you get a free domain with your first year of hosting but it renews at a uh, a bit higher rate than something like a dedicated domain registrar would charge. So what I suggest is get that free domain for the first year and then switch over to something like Namecheap that specializes in registering domains. HostGator has something called unmetered bandwidth. This means they don't watch how much bandwidth you're using on their shared hosting plans. So you'll be able to use kind of as much as you want but you're still bound by the terms of use and fair usage policies. So you can't have a million visitor website and since they're not monitoring your bandwidth, think that you can just throw it on shared hosting. No, it'll crash their servers and they'll kick you off the shared hosting plan. So this is ideal for a smaller website that don't get too much traffic, ideally less than 50K visitors a month, depending on which shared hosting plan you choose. And they won't monitor or charge you for anything like overages or using too much bandwidth, but if you suck up too many resources on your shared hosting, they will let you know and ask you to upgrade or ask you to remove your website from their hosting. It also gives you a free SSL certificate provided by cPanel or Let's Encrypt. The, one of the things that is really, really important to me is the ability to transfer websites easily. And when I was transferring over to HostGator, they did everything for me and they kept sending me emails to update me and let me know on the progress of the transfer. It happened with zero downtime and I was really pleased with the results. HostGator also offers a basic website builder as part of the shared hosting plans or even the uh, dedicated VPS hosting. The thing with the website builder is that it is pretty basic. It's a drag and drop builder, but if you're not looking for all those bells and whistles, then it could actually be a really nice, simple option to get a mobile friendly website online. And you're also able to post dozens upon dozens of email account without any limits. But there is a caveat here. HostGator has something called Linodes. And if you exceed the Linodes on your hosting plan, they will actually ask you to upgrade. Or if you're trying to migrate from another host and you exceed the Linodes, they won't migrate you until you're within the limits. Now, Linodes are just another way of saying files. You'd be surprised, you probably have hundreds of thousands of files on your current hosting. So keep that in mind, there is a limit to the number of files, but not the size of those files. Now, one of the most important considerations of any website host is both the uptime and the speed. HostGator offers a 99.99% uptime guarantee. And if they don't meet that, they'll give you a free month of hosting. Although they guarantee 99.9% .9 uptime, if they don't meet that guarantee, it's at their discretion whether they want to give you the free month of hosting. But what I can say is that HostGator does have consistent uptime and it is fast. One of the websites we host using HostGator that's pretty heavy and is not optimized at all loads. It has a C performance grade and it loads in just over three seconds. Most of the time it loads under two seconds. Now HostGator offers a number of add-on services called Under Essentials. CodeGuard is a backup service. They also offer more 
advanced SSL certificates in addition to the free one. They offer SiteLock. This is a malware and security kind of add-on that you can get for just a few bucks a month. And then G Suite and, and Microsoft Office, these are add-ons that you can get at a discount when you buy them through HostGator. They're basically an affiliate for these platforms. In addition to that, they have web design, PPC, and SEO services. Now, the web design, PPC, and SEO services, it's not the best and I re really couldn't recommend them. But if you go to a dedicated web design service, you'll be much happier with the results. The same for the PPC and the same for the SEO. This is more geared towards people who have absolutely no idea what they're doing when it comes to these kind of things and need more hand holding and aren't really gung ho about getting the best results out there. This is for this is an entry level service and to get you entry level results. Now let's take a look at the pricing. HostGator, like most other web hosting companies, has three pricing plans on their shared hosting. Now, if you want to get your 60% up to 65% off, make sure you click that link in the description and take advantage of it. Now, it starts at $275 and goes up to $525. That's really cheap in the hosting world. But there are some caveats and there are some limitations based on those hosting plans. If you have a website that you intend to put a lot of work and energy into, or you have a website you're migrating over that has more traffic built in already, then I'd recommend the, the business plan or the baby plan. It also has WordPress hosting. Now, as a rule, WordPress hosting is more expensive than shared hosting, but with HostGator, the WordPress hosting starts at $6 a month or $5.95 a month, which is a steal compared to like Kinsta or WPX hosting, which starts at $30 and $25 respectively. And it goes all the way up to $9.95 a month. And the good thing is that HostGator comes with the 45 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you get your money back. Now let's look at HostGator's ease of use. So as you can see, I'm on the HostGator baby plan. And I like the platform because everything is really just spread out for you to see right when you log in. You can access your cPanel, which is by, as a rule much more difficult to use. And you can manage things like your SSL certificate, your add-ons or, or any other packages that you've actually purchased or you can get them right from your dashboard. So for ease of use, I give HostGator a thumbs up because it's easy to navigate the platform, easy to figure out what you're trying to accomplish. Now help and support from HostGator is 24 seven, 365. It's easy to say, much harder to accomplish, but HostGator does a pretty good job. It has a live chat support team that responds within about two to five minutes. And then it has help articles, email support, and even telephone support. And this is accessible to all of their customers. So as long as you're a customer, you can access all of these channels. So what's my final verdict on HostGator? I'd say HostGator is a go. If you want a solid hosting platform that's inexpensive, pretty fast, and has a solid uptime guarantee, and actually delivers on that uptime guarantee, then I'd suggest going with HostGator. If you need something with more oomph, or you need something dedicated for WordPress or like dedicated VPS cloud hosting, HostGator does have cloud hosting plans, but they're not the best in the business and there are better options out there like Liquid Web. So that's it for this HostGator review. I hope to help you come to a better understanding of the platform and possibly make a decision. So if you're ready to get started, you can get up to 65% off by clicking the link down in the description and I will see you in my next video. Daniel out.